Welcome back. All of my burners are on. That is what we like to call a hot start. I think I might just leave them on for a little bit, warm up the place. I'll just, I'll turn those two off. We're literally starting right now with something boiling already. So I'm, that's, sorry, that's the pace I'm going today. Welcome back to uh, my kitchen. We're gonna be making some uh, more delicious potato inventions. I decided that this week I wanted to step just really far outside the box and make something kind of weird. And what I'm gonna make is potato churros. Is that right? Hold up, ain't no way. Savory potato churros with queso dip. They look more or less cursed in the Pinterest photo. This is what they look like. It's like a cross between like a funnel cake, dismembered, and fries. It's gonna be an experiment. Let me just paint you a picture, okay? You're at the county fair. You're walking, the sun's shining, you just got tickets, you won some plushies over at the, the bottle toss thing where you throw the ring on the bottles even though you know for a fact that it's literally rigged. There's like YouTube videos explaining how absolutely rigged that game is. Somehow you landed a couple rings on a couple bottles and you're riding high off of your win and you start to smell the funnel cake and you're like, oh, okay. And then you smell the churros and you're like, oh, okay, yeah. And you go to the station and you're like, give me five churros and you grab a fistful of them and you take a bite and right as you're taking the bite, the guy behind the counter says, they're made of potatoes. Is your day ruined or not? I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it's improved. I don't know, but today we're gonna turn a sweet, traditionally dessert dish into a savory potato dish because why not? And we're gonna make some queso dip because listen, you don't gotta, I don't need an excuse to make queso dip, but today I have one, so feeling good about that. Ingredients for this dish, fairly simple, okay? Obviously potatoes, which I don't, I don't have in front of me because guess what I did this week? I pre-prepared them. You don't need to see me peeling potatoes every week. You don't, need, you don't need that, okay? So you know what it looks like. It's just, I'm peeling the potatoes, cutting them, cleaning them, boiling them, cooling them. So that's what we're doing. Uh, for the churros, we're gonna need two russet potatoes. And then the rest of the ingredients are a little bit of oat milk, full fat, some cornstarch, some spices, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder. And then for the queso dip, we are gonna be making Lauren Toyota's hot for food legendary vegan queso, which requires some potatoes and carrots, jalapenos and some brine from the jalapeno jar, arrowroot starch, nooch, some spices, some lemon juice, some oil, tomato paste, some odds and ends. I'll put both recipes down below for you. I've discovered a little worm. What are you looking for? He's just breathing a lot. Yeah, he's just breathing. All right, you can continue. Go. Go search for whatever you're looking for. I hope you find it. If you're looking for churros, just give me like, you know, give me some time. Never made these. So you might be asking yourself, hey, we haven't even started cooking. Why is your burner on and water boiling at the very beginning? Well, um, I'm just pre-boiling water. It's never a bad idea to pre-boil some water because there could always come a time where you need water to be boiled and if you have it pre-boiled, you don't gotta wait that like 10 minutes. It's already there. So our water's pre-boiled. I pre-boiled my water. And we're gonna put our white potatoes cubed and about a cup of potato, half a cup of carrots. We're gonna put this in some boiling water for 10 minutes. Hey Google, timer, 10 minutes, and then self-destruct. All right, 10 minutes, and that's starting now. We'll see what happens in 10 minutes, I guess. Eight, two, one. My Google Home just self-destructed. Okay, whatever. We're gonna make the queso dip first because this recipe for potato churros happens fast. Once you start making the dough, you put it in a piping bag and you pipe it into hot oil and then that's ha that, that's it. That's like, we're happening at that point. Things are moving fast, okay? We don't have time to like pause and make a dip at that point. So we're making the dip first and you need your high power blender. You need some potato. So we're softening the potatoes and carrots up for 10 minutes. And we're gonna toss them in the blender with all the other ingredients and then get queso in. I suppose we can start the dough in the meantime, so let's do that. Okay, so I have these potatoes already. They were prepped off camera, so you'll just have to trust that I did everything right. That's all you have right now, is trust. And soon, you'll have trust in potato churros. We add the boiled potatoes to a large boil and mash until smooth and creamy. Wait, what are we doing? It's ricing time, not the poison kind. Let's rice these potatoes. That's how you get them the smoothest and the creamiest. That is a satisfying feeling when it pushes through. That is the good stuff right there. Even if you don't like potatoes to be soft and creamy, treat this as like a sensory toy because it, it is really satisfying. 
That one didn't really work that well. Oh my God, did I break this? Oh my God, I broke it. What the hell, how did that even happen? I just bent the potato ricer. Oh my God, all right. Well, let's try to put it back. That is strange, I have no idea why that happened. I wasn't being rough or anything, I was, you know? I was doing it like I was supposed to. Maybe the potatoes are just, no, that, that was weird. It was like, I just caught a weird angle or something. That is strange, okay. Potatoes are riced. All right, so we have to make an egg replacer. So we have powdered egg replacer, add a touch of water to it. This is um, just for consistency, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we're gonna whisk some water into the egg replacer. Then we're gonna add all of our ingredients and just start making the dough. There's the egg, cornstarch. Then we add the milk. Then we add our seasoning. Then we mix until combined. This is gonna be interesting. I like, I'm worried that like deep frying something out of a piping bag and have it not be sweet is gonna just like really mess up my, my brain chemistry a little bit. Oh, it's, why is it red? No, 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 no. I don't think it's supposed to be red. Why are you blue? Okay, well, this kind of looks like, um, what potato thing did we make with the curry powder or the curry paste? Looks like that kind of. Okay, yeah, it looks way more red than in the photo, which is kind of concerning, but whatever. It's definitely like a pasty consistency. You can hear the sound it's making. It's kind of a satisfying noise, actually. This is a great meal for when you want to invite your friends over. Say, hey guys, I'm making churros. Come on over, if you're really trying to convince them over. And then when they get here, it's potato churros. You didn't lie to them. You were telling the truth, it's a churro. It's not on you to disclose every single ingredient inside of a churro. I mean, they're the guests, they should be thanking you. Okay, now we have to transfer all this dough, which looks pretty delicious or something. I don't know, maybe it looks bad into a piping bag uh, with a, a large star tip, it says. So I think the way we do this is we cut off the tip of the bag. Don't let that go in the recipe, that's not edible. And then you put the piping tip down at the bottom. Or maybe you do it the other way around. You do the piping tip and then, okay. So you wanna, I think make it so, like that. This is arts and crafts and it's baking. Well, no, this is not baking. It's arts and crafts and it's cooking. The metal tip of the piping tip is the last thing that should touch the potato mixture. Like that's what it should look like, I'm pretty sure. I think, we'll see. But anyway, let's transfer this over. Let's clear out our plastic. Mm-hmm, nice and easy. This is kind of cursed looking actually. You know what, this is, I think this might be cursed. What's crazy is I never would have thought a recipe called <coughs> potato churros would be cursed, but here we are. Anything, anything can happen, life is crazy. All right, that's enough. Okay, so we're gonna get this all ready. Oh my God, this is <laughs> actually wild. Okay, I'm gonna twist the end. Let's get this off the water and strain the potatoes and carrots. Hey Google, literally die. Okay, so let's put all of our ingredients here for the queso into our little prep container, which I actually just got this prep container. It is so cute, I love it. Uh, we're gonna put arrowroot starch, salt, nooch, garlic, onion powder, that's what that is. A Little bit of lemon juice. All right, we need a fourth a cup of milk and then a fourth a cup of oil. This is a really unconventional, seemingly strange recipe for cheese, but I'm telling you, don't knock it till you try it. I say this every time I make it. I've made it in so many videos at this point. Uh, it's a brilliant recipe. Also, definitely don't, if you're gonna miss an ingredient, do not miss the jalapeno and jalapeno brine. That is a really important ingredient, which is, right here. I got six slices of jalapeno and three tablespoons of brine and I got the extra hot kind. And then we're gonna do a tablespoon of tomato paste, which I'm just gonna eyeball. Yeah, that's a tablespoon. Exactly, literally exactly. And now we blend. Now we just blend. This is our queso. It's kind of incredible, this right here. It's the cheesiest tasting and looking and best vegan cheese recipe that you could find on the internet. I've, trust me, I've been on the internet. I, I think I gotta tie this. Okay, I just hit it with a rubber band so there's no air getting in. But this is our piping bag. This is our queso, we'll save that for a second. I think I actually might do a quick blend before we serve. But now is when we gotta get our hot oil and our piping bag and all of our churro supplies ready to go, okay? Cause we're deep frying potatoes once again, in the name of Friday. Got some new gloves in case, you know, we're handling hot stuff, you just never know. Gotta be prepared. Let's read the instructions and then we get started. By the way, we have a seasoning. It is our garlic powder, paprika, salt, onion powder, and then also just a bunch of parm, I think. How much parm? 
Third a cup. I'm eyeballing that. Something I'm discovering with a lot of these potato recipes is that Parmesan cheese is like really good for seasoning. I didn't know that until recently, but that's our seasoning. Okay, add enough oil to a medium pan that the churros can float and heat over medium heat until the hot, until the hot, bro, this sentence is wrong. Add enough oil to a medium pan so the churros can float and heat over medium heat until the hot. Okay, whatever. So we're just gonna do some oil. We're gonna need a little bit more oil, I think. Good thing we have this literally massive jug of it. That should be good, I think. I don't know. Okay, so we want 350 degrees for frying. Why does it look like that in there? Is that the shadow? That's tripping me out. You see that? That's bizarre. While the oil's heating, add the Parmesan garlic, okay, into a dish. We did that. Pipe the mixture directly into the hot oil and fry until golden, up to two to three minutes. Flip the churros halfway through. As soon as the churros are done, remove them from the oil and toss them in your prepared seasoning. It doesn't say what shape to make these. This is, there's so much left up to creative freedom here. All right, we'll use this. We also might need a tossing bowl. So we'll use this. Now we check the temperature. 176. We got some time. All right, we got a little time. Might go for a quick run. Hold on one sec. What was my time? Imagine how twisted a fair, like a county fair would be if every single fair food was savory. Like you had savory funnel cakes, savory churros. What else is there? Savory deep fried ice cream. Nothing was sweet. That would be called the unfair. Is that annoying? 283, 284, 289, 295. I'll just give you a live reading of the temperature. 300, 301, 303, <gasps> 304, Mr. 305, 304 again, 309, 330, 340. Oh my God, it's about time. Here we go. It's game time, y'all. Let's start piping. Dude, this is weird. It's coming out really nicely of the piping bag, which I was concerned about. Like it's actually easy to do. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna do only like seven or something. I don't wanna crowd it too much. This is wild. I made them like little, like long fries, basically like kind of like uncurled curly fries. They're completely like submerged in oil. So I don't think I need to flip them. I think I'm just gonna give them a couple of minutes and then I don't know. <laughs> Eat them with a fork, straight out of the oil. Hi, right, welcome to my restaurant. Would you like some churro? Have a seat and open your mouth. Sorry, sorry for saying open your mouth. I don't wanna like touch them too soon because they seem still kind of delicate. Okay, it dropped, so that's good. It's always scary when you're deep frying stuff and you're like, you've got the perfect heat and you're like not paying attention for a second. And all of a sudden it's gone up by like a hundred degrees and you're like, what even happens chemically at that level of heat? And then you find out, but you still don't really understand. You just know it smells different and the pan is kind of like burnt. And then there's like, nothing goes right for the rest of the day or week. What is this? What am I making? It smells good. It smells good. Okay, what is that? What is that? What am I looking at? They look done. I'm not even, I don't know how much else, I'm stressed. Oh my God, this is kind of cursed. I'm glad I found this recipe. I'm just trying to show you up close, like what, what I'm looking at here. That's wild. Fries, I said fries. These are churros. How dare you, sir? Okay, let's try something. Okay, we got them in here. Yeah, they're still sticky, so. <laughs> this is bizarre. <laughs> Oh my God. This is what they look like with the seasoning on. This is, this is a spicy recipe. Like I'm not, okay, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself, but like, like what exactly in the whole damn world is, is this? It looks like a mix between a, a taki, a fry, a churro. That's it. Taki fry churro. I'm gonna try one right now. And I'm not gonna tell you how it is. That's really, hold on. I won't tell, I'll tell you later. Oh, we gotta dip them in the sauce, I forgot. A lot, of, lot going on right now. I'm gonna blend this real quick to get the queso kind of warmed up. This is, uh, this is gonna be served at my fast food restaurant, the one I have in my kitchen, real quick. Come on, dude. This whole recipe, I didn't even use my knife once. Okay, here we are with our final product that no one asked for. It is a potato 
churro. So it's a savory, cheesy tasting churro fry thing. I, I don't know what to think about it. I mean, what is this object? Did we stray further from God with this one? Kermit's crying about it, so I don't know. He must know something, but let's give it a, let's give it a dip and try, okay? Cheers. That tastes like, that, it tastes good. It tastes like fluffy, light, deep fried potato fries. It's like if a fry was 50% lighter. I don't know why. It's like something about making the potato dough instead of frying hard potatoes. It makes it light and airy. It's really good and cursed at the same exact time. And it's crunchy. Bunny, you want one? Come here, come here, bunny. I'm not gonna give you one. They're too spicy for you. Okay, well, this is not a food I ever thought I would eat or make for sure. But now that I have made it and tried it, I see the vision. Like, I get it. I see the vision, okay? It's weird, it's cursed, but at the end of the day, it's fried potato dough. So like, there wasn't really a universe where this was gonna taste bad. It's just a little bit wrong. And, you know, potentially upsetting, depending on who eats it, but again, I think a great way to introduce this into your friend group is to just promise them churros and say nothing. And then you make these, then you get a real look at who your friends are. What are their reactions, okay? Do they punch you? Do they say thank you? Did they steal them all? Were all of those people you? And you just imagine that they were your friends. This is good. I feel like I could eat a hundred times more of these than french fries because they're so light. I think that's the real dub right there. Okay, well, this wasn't on my tier list. I just wanted to take a huge step outside the box and make something really wild today. And I think we did that. So these are savory, potato churros that uh, I've never had anything like this in my life. So now I have, and I'm different, and I'm better, and I might also be a little bit more cursed. I might have seen the dark side of some things. There's no coming back from that, making potato churros. I don't know where we go now, but we're not the same. Let me know who wants to win this still really, really hot, maybe like 300 degree frying oil. Um, pop that into an envelope, give it to the winner in the, in the comments below, just make sure you, um, What? Thanks for watching my potato video. I'll see you next week for some more um, high flying action.